Hey everybody, welcome back to the Spreaders channel. We are looking at the Surface Book 2 13 inch. And if you remember, I covered uh, the Surface Book with Performance Base that had a 965M and saw how well it worked in the HTC Vive virtual reality headset. And while it did run games, it was not a great experience. It was pretty choppy. But the question is, is can the Surface Book 2 with an upgraded GTX 1050 run something like this, um, Windows Mixed Reality Headset. This is the Samsung Odyssey. Um, and, you know, I'm not sure if it's going to do much better, but maybe the Windows uh, side of things uses a little bit less resources. There may be a few experiences that run okay on the GTX 1050. So we're going to take a look. In order to do this, we're going to have to use a USB-C to HDMI adapter, which uh, hopefully runs well enough because there's no HDMI port on this device to use, or DisplayPort for that matter. Uh, but the USB-C can be adapted out into different video formats. So let's see how it goes. So the USB-C adapter I'm using is uh, Mokin. And the nice thing is we might be able to get away with just plugging in the HMD cables, the USB 3 and the HDMI. And then you almost have like a little base station like the Vive has. Uh, but just one cable into the Surface Book, and we should be able to roll with VR, which is pretty, pretty convenient. Okay, so I wanted to try something, and I wanted to show you exactly how smooth that this is inside VR on... Uh, the Surface Book 2, and this is just the GTX 1050. And um, what I decided to do is I literally just have the phone put up to the display. So the Samsung has actually quite good, actually the best resolution of any of the consumer devices out there. Although it's kind of hard to focus this thing, but I guess the main point is that you can see just how smooth this experience is. And I've even loaded up a few games and had a really good experience with it. If you're especially going to use this device for just watching movies or whatever, um, you can have a seamless, perfect experience. Uh, the games may not be quite as smooth as they would be on other devices, but literally, uh, this is a great experience. You can see it's like super smooth. Um, and it's going to be hard to move these controllers around, but anyways. Um, it works really well, and... I do not have any qualms with the, uh, at least the Windows Mixed Reality performance. Now, once Steam VR is fully official on this, that may be a little bit different story, but um, so far, any of the games that I've been loaded up on here ran perfectly good. You can have a decent VR experience on the 13 inch device. So, um, that's pretty cool.